Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Now fades all earthly splendor, the shades of night descend, the dying of the daylight foretells creation's end. Though noon gives place to sunset, yet dark gives place to light, the promise of tomorrow with dawn's new hope is bright. The silver notes of morning will greet the rising sun, as once the Easter glory shone round the risen one. So will the night of dying give place to heaven's day, and hope of heaven's vision will light our pilgrim way. So will the new creation rise from the old reborn to splendor in Christ's glory and everlasting morn. All darkness will be ended as faith gives place to sight of Father, Son, and Spirit, one God in heaven's light. Yours is more than mortal beauty Every word you speak is full of grace. My heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song I have made. My tongue is nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh. In splendor and state, ride on and triumph in the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yours is more than mortal beauty. Every word you speak is full of grace. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The riches of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, his robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the people. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you took on flesh, Lord Jesus, you made a marriage of mankind with God. Help us to be faithful to your word and endure your exile bravely until we are called to the heavenly marriage feast to which the Virgin Mary, exemplar of your church, has preceded us. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him.
God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was His will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor He has bestowed on us in His beloved. In Him and through His blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven, so immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan He carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into Him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from Philippians chapter 3. We eagerly await the coming of our Savior the Lord Jesus Christ. He will give a new form to this lowly body of ours and remake it according to the pattern of his glorified body by his power to subject everything to himself. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us and we shall be saved. Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. See, your King comes, the Master of the earth. He will shatter the yoke of your slavery. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See, your King comes the master of the earth. He will shatter the yoke of your slavery. To Christ our Lord, judge of the living and the dead, let us cry out with faith, Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, may the world know your justice, which the heavens proclaim. May your glory fill the earth. For us, you took upon yourself the weakness of man, Protect us with the strength of your own divine life. Come to those imprisoned in the darkness of ignorance. Show them the radiance of your divine light. In your humility as a man, you took away our sin. Now in your glory grant us true happiness. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, free us from our sins and make us whole. Hear our prayer and prepare us to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.